Hey guys, it's Kat Von D here, and I am gonna show you how to do yet another look from my Spellbinding Eyeshadow Book that's out now. And when you open the, the book, inside it has different looks that you can achieve. Um, today I'm gonna focus on the Spellbinder. Um, this is a much more simpler version that gives you the instructions on the inside. Um, this is gonna be a different approach to that look. So as always, I like to start every look uh, using a little bit of my high voltage primer and I've already prepped this eye so we're ready to dive into the first step. I'm going to be using this awesome purple shade, I've called it Babe. Using a flat brush, I'm going to pack on the purple color and we're going to use these angles on the brush to kind of create this tentative shape. Starting from the outer edge of the eye, I'm just going to start packing it on like so. And for me, it's just going to be important to create this like triangular shape. I'm gonna bring all the purple just to like the center part of the lid because I wanna leave this inner triangle blank so that we could put some nice little you know, shimmery highlights. Once I've made this tentative shape, I'm gonna take my blending brush using the same color, babe, and then just lightly blend it out throughout the crease. So for the next step, I'm gonna take that same flat brush, but I'm just gonna flip it to the other side, the clean side, and Using the color Instaglam, which is this awesome shimmery color that has little flecks of pearl in it, I'm gonna pack that on, on the inside corner of the eye. And the reason I wanna pack it on is because I want it to be as sparkly as possible because I think that these little highlights are gonna open up the eye. So for the bottom of the lid, I'm gonna use this tiny little smudge brush. I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna be using the color that I named Pee Off after my favorite little kitty in the world. And I'm just gonna lightly dab it because I don't wanna get too much eyeshadow on the brush. I, you know, I, you don't wanna get those like raccoon eyes or have a lot of drop off because this is the darker shade. And I'm gonna take the point of it and just carefully start adding definition to the bottom lid. Now, then I'm gonna switch it up to this brush. And you can use like any type of you know, eyeliner type brush, something that is a little more precise that gives you some room for definition. Using this, I'm going to flare out and continue the, the lower lid line to create that kind of like a cat eye look without the cat eye. And then once that's done, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and then just lightly sweep it under the silver gray color just so that it smoothens out. To add a nice little pop, what I'd like to do is take that Instaglam highlight color and using that angled liner brush to create you know this effect of having like a pop of shimmer under your eyeliner you're going to want to start like right at the outer corner and just roll it out the look is already starting to come alive so using um, my favorite tattoo liner in trooper i'm going to do a semi-thin version of what i usually do and just kind of follow that line and the cool thing about this formula is that like, you can start off with a very thin line and just continue to add if you need to make it thicker or not. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way to the inside corner. Even though it's really subtle, technically this is kind of like sporting three different eyeliner looks. You've got the tattoo liner as the definite eyeliner and then right under the highlight, we use that as the second eyeliner and then obviously the bottom pee off color comes up and creates that third eyeliner look. For the last uh, final touch of definition, I'm gonna use this eyeliner, just black, Puro Amor, it's my favorite black, and just put a tad bit on the inner lid. This is gonna join that pee off color with the rest of the look. And now all we need is some mascara. All right, cool. I hope you guys like this look and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with yourselves. Yeah.